Hello and welcome to my channel Green Lion Goddess. This is your daily read for September the 17th, Thursday the September the 17th, which is the Virgo New Moon. Uh, I won't give you the exact details of that, will change depending on where you are in the world and the energy can affect it a day or two apart anyway. So, but we're just going to look at the general energy around this. So let's see what energy this new moon is bringing in for you. And I've heard a lot of people talk around shifts of consciousness, the age of Aquarius uh, coming in later in the year. And this is actually significant what's being brought in here for this new moon. So I am actually going to be recording a meditation if you're interested in doing a new moon meditation and bring, helping you uh, bring in this new opportunity in abundance. But uh, So the link will be in the description box below. We have the Eight of Pentacles as an overall energy home. We have the Queen of Wands. Finally, that energy clears. We have for career and money, the Magician. Wow, okay. We have for love and relationships, the Temperance card. And wow, here comes the new beginning, the Fool being called to take up that new opportunity. The King of Swords make a good decision here. Wow, okay. Very much giving the big nudge from the universe here around this energy, this new moon energy. So definitely related to today, the focus will be on work and what you're creating and money and how your money's working for you, how you're working for money, all that sort of things, all those sort of themes. So yes, but it, it's very positive energy with the Eight of Pentacles. It's very much um, looking at it from a positive mindset going well, if it's not working, how can I change that? So it's finding solutions rather than problems. Now, around the home, we've been having a bit of um, energy that's needed to be cleared out in the, the first half of the week. Finally, it shifts with this Queen of Wands energy, that shadow side that you've been grappling with is finally at your feet. You know, you've overcome something. There's success and happiness now. And there could be a whole heap of creative you know, new ideas, nurturing new ideas. There is a sense that you're getting what you want, um, bringing in the right energy. So it's actually feeling really good. Now, this new opportunity that propped up for you yesterday, you have now in your career zone Money and career, the magician, and it's saying everything is in front of you now. You have what you need. So the possibilities here are endless. You have what it is that you need in front of you. Now what are you going to do with that? And you're being very strongly guided by spirit as to moving forward. So it's about taking a next step. And But it, the magician is all about you, again, number one. Love and relationships, we have temperance. So there's this lovely balance coming in uh, with the temperance card. There's an expansion, there's flow. Things are going to be feeling good. Uh, I don't, I'm not seeing it feeling a lot of conflict here. So, yeah, it's a nice energy to have in the love and relationship zone. And then we have the message from um, the universe, from soul and spirit, the fool card coming in. You know, the fool card and the magician they're, it's all about taking up this new opportunity, stepping into the new, taking a risk for some of you, stepping into the unknown. Uh, it's just starting again for some of you, but it's very much uh, asking you to have beginner's mind, let go of burdens, but stepping into this new opportunity is quite amazing. And so we have as the bottom of the deck energy, the king of swords. So this is you kind of looking at it, it's a planning and strategic, taking the next steps, uh, working out how like a plan, uh, well, I said a plan, like a business plan or how this is going to work. This could represent a Gemini, Libra or Aquarius as well that's coming in and helping you make business decisions. It's all about making the right decisions here. So we have as um, a spirit from um, energy from the animal spirit deck. Let's see what's coming through for today. We have cro crocodile. So keeping your eye on the prize. This is something that, again, we keep getting this thing that when the opportunity strikes, you need to take it. And that's what the crocodile does. He waits, he waits, he waits. And as soon as something comes, snap. And so this could be something, it's all about the right timing, but when it comes, you might have been waiting this for a while, and but and this is something that you might have been wanting to bring in for a very, very long time, and the crocodile is an ancient creature. 
But when it comes, you will know and you will know exactly when to take that. So I'm going to pull a letter for today. And we have S. We have S and the number one. And again, it's all about you. And S for me, you know, S can be around a number, uh, not a number, a name that begins with S. It could be significant. For me, it could be um, the shape of it is almost like the infinity symbol that we're coming in. But I'm getting flexibility was the word I was given. So being flexible, being able to move with and go with the flow of the day seems to be and the energy that you're being offered seems to be really important but the letter s might be very uh significant and we have adventuring has come out as the gem and that is all about prosperity so yeah there's definitely there's definitely so much potential to this day so like i said i'm i'm doing a new moon meditation if you want to tune in and manifest and connect with this new opportunity and bring in this new energy the link will be in the description box below but yeah it's a great day if you can tune into this energy and take up this opportunity of really being uh, guided to do that now i'll see you tomorrow thanks for joining me